Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the Umi Digi Bison Pro. I've seen this on Banggood for around £130. So yeah, I'm back again with an affordable hard wearing phone from Umi Digi, uh, powered by the Helio G80 MediaTek chip, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, 6.3 inch display at 1080p, full HD plus, and we have a 48 megapixel triple camera setup as well. Let's take a closer look. Here we go, nicely presented. Same old stuff, specs displayed on the front, 5,000 milliamp battery. There's NFC in here as well, remember, packed in there. Infrared thermometer, cool. Obviously IP68 and uh, IP69K rating as well, which you do come to expect with phones like this. So that's the phone and this hasn't changed for what, for years. The typical red USB Type-C and your charging block. That's standard Imidigi boxings. Let's take a look around this body, shall we? Let's take the back off. 48 megapixel. Nice, we have a macro in there as well, which some people don't like. A feel of that okay that's nice nice material look here's the camera housing then look it's the back that's looking nice we have the rails love the orange little button there that's quite level actually with the actual rail itself it doesn't bump out too much waterproof shockproof Fingerprint sensor there by the looks of it. And we have SIM card slot there as well. Flip it round. We have what I believe is the power button, volume rocker up and down, and then another button down here. It might be one of them SOS buttons. USB type C at the bottom. What well, I think, oh no, speakers are at the back there, aren't they? Speakers are at the back there at the bottom. And on the top, 3.5 mil socket. They do not disappoint for people who prefer that technology. Now, if you remember sometime last year, I believe it was, I had the Umi Digi Bison and I still have it. So in terms of look, they look pretty much identical. That's got a 48 megapixel triple camera um, set up as well. So I'm guessing it's gonna be Similar. In terms of size, I think the Pro is slightly taller. Yeah, I think it's slightly taller. If you compare the, the sides, look pretty much identical. But obviously with the ImageG Bison Pro, you are getting that newer chip, the MediaTek chip, so look at that. And on that side, look, exactly the same. And I also think you're also getting more RAM. I think it's eight gig of RAM. Whether well, they do do a four gig of RAM version as well, this Umi Digi Bison was six gigs of RAM. Let's peel this off. Nice. There's the earpiece. Nice, and we have a screen protector as well installed, pre-installed. Okay, so I've set this up. I've took a few snaps and a few videos, which I'll show you in a moment. This is the display. Full HD plus, um, 1080. It's not a, a bad screen at all, actually. It looks really nice. No issues with that whatsoever. Um, apps, that's all you're getting. What was this Zello app? I remember seeing that before. Zello, faster than text. Yeah, I'll leave that. Uh, yeah, that's it for um, apps. So yeah, it's not, not got an app drawer. It's just that, yeah. So hardly any bloatware at all, really. You get the, the familiar toolbox as well, which is quite normal. Um, smart key, so you can assign the keys on the side here, uh, which is cool. System update. It's got a system update available, which is cool. Now, just like on the original Umi Digi Bison, the Fingerprint sensor is on this side, which for me is a little awkward. So I've assigned 
that finger and it's sort of unlocked on the second time of asking. I've also assigned my thumb, left thumb. Yeah, which would be perfect if I, if I predominantly use the phone in my left hand, but like most people, I use it in my right hand and I normally unlock it with my thumb there on the right or on the screen there, but yeah, it's a little bit awkward for me. I don't like it. So you wanna have a look at the video capabilities and photos. So here you can have a look at what I've just captured using the camera system on the Umi Digi Bison Pro. It does have an ultra wide uh, sensor in there on picture only, but not on video. I don't think it's actually too bad at all considering the price you're paying for this sort of phone. shooting at 1080p on the Umi Digi Bison Pro and that's looking um, decent quality in there. I'm standing in front of this window so we're getting a good amount of light there. Oh, it fell over. How's it exposing my face with the bright light behind it? Yeah, blown out a little bit in the window but you know, this is a £130 phone. Now I'm under some artificial light. But I'm guessing the microphone isn't going to be that strong, so I'm going to have to probably whack it up about 20 dB. But that's the front video. Front video. Front facing camera video. 1080p. So now we're on the rear. Uh, 1080p. 30 frames per second, I'd imagine. There's no 60 or frame rate options at all. Um, but I mean, that's not bad. This is looking really nice. I'm quite impressed actually. Some of the cheaper phones I've seen over the past few months, around the sort of 100 pound mark, the video has been absolutely terrible. Obviously this is gonna be amazing quality, but I think, Definitely get the job done. Tomorrow in the Pixel 6 Pro. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, obviously, you want to take a look at the, the display. In YouTube, we have these options, but it is only 1080p display, so I'm just going to choose 1080p oh, 60 if I can. Is it frozen? Quality, 1080p, there we go. Oh, pinch zoom, okay. Didn't seem very responsive then, let's just do that again. I have to press it hard. I might need to, there is a screen protector on here, so I may have to turn on, turn on the sensitivity, uh, sensitivity of the display if you can. But I really can't see any issues with the display here at all. The colours look great. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we have a loudspeaker at the back. At the bottom there. Got a bit of music playing. Well, let me just put it this way. I don't think you're going to be buying this phone for its speaker capabilities. Yes, you'll be able to listen to music and stuff, but it doesn't sound amazing. And obviously, 
because it's waterproof, there has got to be some sort of waterproofing in there to help prevent uh, any water getting into the system. And with phones like this, if you do drop it in water, then it may take a, a bit of time for the speaker to clear, but it will be uh, clear enough to hear audio again afterwards. But yeah, audio quality isn't great. So this is the close look at both of the Umi Digi Bison smartphones of the pro version on the left and the normal version on the right. And as you can see, it's pretty much identical in terms of build quality, size, design. I think this is slightly taller actually, this one. Uh, display as well, very much identical. Um, yeah, so we have device name, um, the resolution which is the same. Obviously the, we have different chipsets, don't we here? So the G80 and the old Helio P60. Android 11 on the Pro and Android 10 on the normal Bison. And if we look down here, it's pretty much uh, the same. Six gig of RAM in here and four in there. It said eight, there's an eight gig version you can get on this. I've obviously got the four gig. Um, yeah, which is, I don't know why they've done that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's that. And the SOC G80 and the P60, both eight cores. Um, slightly faster clock speed. Were there only two clusters there actually at two gigahertz? I mean, overall, it's quite equal and um, even on the, the standard version, but a lot of it is looking the same. There's not much difference, really. Uh, same displays as well, by the looks of it. The memory statistics and the, the camera setup as well. So the focal length looks slightly different on the Pro compared to the, the standard version there. And the ISO is slightly different on the Pro, so we get more maximum ISO 1600 on there compared to 6400. Very, very identical. I mean, if you have got this and you're looking to upgrade, there might not be much point, to be honest. Um, but if you are looking for a, a new phone, your first phone, then you can get the new one. It's got Android 11 straight out of the box. Uh, the Umi Digi Bison Pro. So that's the unboxing and detailed look at the Umi Digi Bison Pro, guys. If you have any questions, pop them down below. Links to this will be in the description as well. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Let's see if we unlock it first time. Wee. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.